Hello and welcome everyone. This is Adam Agley, founder of Surge Tick Digital Marketing. Let me start off by saying thank you for being here today for this valuable presentation. I think you're going to find it not only informative, but you're going to be given some vital information that can make a huge impact on your business starting here today. Now look, I value your time, so I'm going to get straight to the point and keep this session under 30 minutes. I know you want to get back to business making money and doing what you do best, but what you're going to be able to do by the end of today's training is estimate the value of a page one ranking on Google for any competitive keyword. So what I'd like to do as we move along through today's presentation is keep, keep it at the forefront of your mind the following question. Can you honestly afford not to rank on Google? And what I'm really saying here is can your business and its website not afford to specifically rank on page one of Google? That answer is going to be pretty obvious as we go through the, the content today. It's the classic million dollar question. I'm going to drive that point home as much as possible throughout this training. So don't lose sight of that question. It's very important to answer it truthfully. Your business depends on it. All right. So with that, I'm going to give a brief introduction before we get started. Again, my name is Adam Magley, founder of Surge Tick Digital Marketing. We are a premier SEO services provider and internet marketing consulting agency that serves professional clients throughout the United States. So professional clients such as cosmetic surgeons, medical malpractice attorneys, endodontists, insurance agents, and all other professional service providers. In a nutshell, we help professional organizations get top rankings for their websites and other digital assets. Our company utilizes a proven ranking system for ranking keywords on page one of Google, including at this very moment, ranking hundreds of top level keywords number one in Google on countless websites across the United States. These keywords receive several hundred thousand monthly searches that produce up to thousands of phone calls daily. And a percentage of those phone calls convert to sales and increase revenues and profits. If that sounds appealing to you, you're in the right place at the right time. So be sure to tune out and shut off all distractions, including your mobile devices, social media, etc. Have a pen and paper handy also. Get ready to see why your business needs to rank on page one of Google and really cannot afford not to. Now what I have here to show you first is the B2B pie chart. SEO has the biggest impact on lead generation by far and it's not just for business to business. This works just as great for B2C which you'll see in a minute. So as you can see here on the chart, 57% uh, 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 of the share is uh, SEO. 25% um, uh, would be PPC or pay-per-click and 18% is social media accounting for you know the impact on lead generation and as you can see here on this chart this is the B2C or business to customer uh, same thing SEO has the biggest impact on lead generation with 41 percent um, being for SEO 34% uh, PPC and just 25 percent for social media now to give you an idea of the size and scope of daily searches and now keep in mind this is just Google uh, there's also you know two majors like Yahoo and Bing as well 5.5 billion searches on Google daily in 2015 and 2016 uh, that that number has gone up dramatically and uh, it's safe to assume for 2017 uh, we are going to see a big increase as well in daily searches just on Google. As you can see here, again, 5.5 billion searches as of 2015. You can see how the the sheer amount of searches has uh, just consistently risen from 2013 on through on this chart. So moving along, as you can see here on this pie chart, 91.5% of the clicks occur on page one of search results. So that means that someone is looking for, you know, the pizza parlor in their town and the, the search results that Google gives them back after they put in, you know, pizza near me, um, the, 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 the vast majority of those 
people that are searching are going to click on the results on page one. Now only 8.5% of clicks happen on page two of search results and beyond. As you can see here, uh, the, the, the amount of clicks, and CTR stands for click-through rates, the, the amount of uh, clicks that, that happen at page two and beyond are pretty much non-existent compared to page one. That's why it's absolutely critical that your business is listed on page one of Google. Uh, people just are simply not clicking once uh, you're, you're on two and above. So 75.7% .7 of first page clicks are on the top five results in Google, meaning that when someone goes to uh, search for the pizza place in their, in their city and they get the, the results that Google gives them, the first five results are going to get the most clicks on page one. And ideally, the first top three listings are going to get the lion's share. You know, as you can see here, 32.5% uh, would go to spot one, number two would get 17.6%, and number three would get 11.4%. So what's the initial takeaway so far? SEO is the key driver of online lead generation. Um, ranking on page one of Google is absolutely imperative for your business, and your SEO ranking goal is to rank in the top three results on page one but why why do you need to rank on page one of Google and much preferably in the top three results because when you rank on page one of Google you can generate more online traffic visitors to your website leads which turn into qualified leads sales increased revenues and absolute more profits the higher your page one ranking, the bigger your potential to dominate your market and crush your competition. But what if you're not ranking on page one of Google? Who, so who is? Well, your competition is, which means they and not you are in prime position to generate more when your competition is ranking on page one of Google and you're not. They are getting more online traffic, more website visitors, leads, sales, revenues and profits why is this also important and why do you need to rank on page one of Google because there's a cost of not ranking on page one of Google a cost that can be calculated now there's a very very good chance that you did not even know there's a way to calculate the estimated value of an, any keyword in any position on page one of Google and, and that's okay but why don't you know I mean, wouldn't you want to know if you're investing or considering investing in SEO? Unfortunately, and rather sad, uh, most so-called SEO experts have no idea how to calculate the value of any keyword on page one of Google, and worse yet, they have no clue how to calculate the estimated value of a keyword. How many of the so-called SEO professionals or experts you have either retained or are currently retaining, have talked to, received emails or marketing materials from, and or heard a sales pitch from, have calculated the estimated value of the keywords they are attempting or intend to rank on page one of Google for you. How many have even mentioned the potential value of any of your keywords? Very, very few, if any of at all, uh, is, is my guess. Now, that's pretty scary. Don't you think it would be vitally important to know the potential value of a keyword you're trying to rank on page one of Google before trying to rank it or paying anyone to try to rank it for you? Why, of course it would. Well, that being the case, then why do a vast majority of SEO consultants never calculate for you the estimated value of ranking any of your keywords on page one of Google or even mention it to you? Well, the simple painful truth is the vast majority of SEO consultants have absolutely no clue how to calculate a keywords value and worse yet these same SEO consultants very likely have absolutely zero clue how to find the right resource to run or have someone run your keyword valuation for you so the next time you talk to your current SEO consultant and or any other consultant trying to sell you their SEO services just ask them what the potential value is for one or more of your keywords 
if it is ranked on page one of Google anywhere from spot one to number 10. Now, here's another second educated guess here. Uh, what, what do you think their response is going to be when you ask them this? After a few ums and the clearing of the throat, you already know before they say anything that they do not know how to calculate the estimated keyword value or worse. They have no idea what you're even talking about. And let's even assume they did know, which is highly unlikely. Why did you have to bring up this key question in the first place? Don't you think that any SEO consultant worth their weight should already know how to do this and are, has already done this for you so they can tell you the potential value of any of your keywords? This puts you in a position to make an informed decision whether it seems worthwhile to have SEO work performed on any specific keywords and what results you may estimate assuming all your assumptions are accurate of course. Now here's the red flag warning. At this point you should be seeing red as in red flags but why? Because if an SEO consultant can't tell you the estimated value of any of your keywords they are ranking, trying to rank or want to rank for you, how can they even recommend to you which keywords to even rank for in the first place? Sure there, there will be some obvious keywords uh, that are more competitive but even so how can an SEO consultant even begin to understand how to price their services if they don't even have a clue what your potential revenues might be if they get you ranked on page one of Google for your keywords how could you determine your potential return on investment or your ROI without this vital information it's akin to flying blindly but that does not need to be that way there's great news what I do is I use my personal software to estimate the value of ranking any competitive keyword on page one of Google and can run this calculation for virtually any scenario based on certain assumptions including your own metrics if available for the most accurate estimate. What we're going to do now is estimating the value of ranking on page one of Google. Step by step calculation here is estimating the value of ranking on page one of Google. Now while we do have an estimation software let's do some quick but very important calculations that you probably never seen before but wished you had to see how much in potential lost revenue you may have if your competitors are ranking on page one of Google and you're not as an example let's say your competitors have one keyword with a monthly search volume of a thousand unique visitors per month now let's assume the following estimated monthly click distribution Page one rankings, 32.5% uh, of the first position in page one um, would be 32.5% of the click through rates with an estimated clicks of 325. Number two, as we said, it's 17.6%, and uh, that would be 176 clicks and spot three would be 114 clicks with 11.4 percent of the click-through rates so what you're seeing here is an estimated monthly click distribution and as you can see as you know this is all page one but as you can see as you get lower and lower in position you know position four five six on down uh, the click-through rates obviously decrease and the estimated amount of clicks decrease drastically also now what we'll do is we'll you know just annualize the same click distribution and as you can see here for the number one position on page one for your keyword would be you know 32.5 percent with this estimation will get you estimated 3900 clicks a year that's a that's a nice amount of clicks and but as you can see just in spot number two there's a drastic decrease down to 2112 clicks uh, per year at 17.6 percent and number three would get you know 1368 estimated clicks at 11.4 percent and you can see going down the list uh, you know the estimated amount of clicks drops drastically as well so what we'll do now is we'll assume that 20 percent of those 325 clicks and so on and so forth uh, will convert 
so in this example here that page one ranking spot one uh, ranking of 325 estimated clicks we get somewhere around 65 qualified leads per month moving down the line number two would get 35 at 176 estimated clicks and number three with a with estimated clicks of now let's analyze those figures in this uh, for the same scenario, spot one would get 20 one ranking qualified leads we'd be looking at 3900 uh, estimated clicks for the year which would usher 780 qualified leads for the year with a 20 percent lead conversion assumption um, not bad and spot number two uh, would you know assuming 20 percent lead conversion with 2112 estimated clicks for the year would usher 422 qualified leads and spot three would still get 274 qualified leads for the year at 1368 estimated clicks for the year and as you can see the numbers dip uh, from there also next let's let's assume that a mere 10 percent of qualified leads retain one of your competitors for their goods and or services versus yours in other words 10 percent of qualified leads are converted to a sale the potential monthly sales generated uh, is the, the the chart we have here and assuming again the, the same formula of, of, of estimated clicks of 325 for the spot one page one ranking which we had a uh, qualified lead assumption of 20 percent uh, if we just multiplied that number by 10 we would get six and a half estimated sales and these are per month so spot number two would get you know three and a half estimated sales per month and spot number three would get 2.3 now as you can see once you even though you're still on page one once you're in position you know five and down uh, it's looking pretty bleak as far as getting some sales for the year or for the month I'm sorry now let's annualize this same thing 3900 estimated clicks for spot one page one which would usher 780 qualified leads for the year and we're just gonna multiply that by 10 percent for qualified leads to sell of 78 sales for the year uh, not bad and moving down we have 42 for spot number two and 27 for spot number three and as you can see uh, just drastically dips from there so let's assume that you're a personal injury lawyer and that each new client or case is worth fifty thousand for your competitor or maybe your lifetime client value is higher or lower per client give or take this is your lifetime client value so with a page one ranking and we'll use the assumptions from you know be previously a qualified lead to sale let's say you had the six and a half sales per month uh, times fifty thousand per case uh, your potential monthly revenue is a nice three hundred and twenty five thousand for spot number two we'd be looking at a hundred and seventy five thousand and spot three would be a hundred and fifteen thousand now as you can see you know moving down below uh, those numbers aren't that bad either for monthly revenues even spot 10 can potentially generate you 25 grand per month now let's annualize those same figures and as we can see you can really get a grasp of how important it is to rank on page one of Google and specifically the top three results on the first page of Google for your keywords we'll use the same assumptions from before and uh, we're also still assuming you know the average lifetime client value is 50 grand each so for the year spot one would have had 78 sales with a potential annual revenue of 3.9 million how does that sound to you I would assume that that's a pretty nice number that you would be satisfied with uh, spot two can potentially generate you 2.1 million 
in spot three with these same assumptions is still a nice 1.3 million and I mean look even spot four is almost a million and 950 grand per year and spot 10 even you know where you barely are making any sales uh, you still potentially pulling in three hundred thousand dollars per year so as you can see it is again so important that your business is on page one of Google for your keywords so you can maximize your earnings and grow your business exponentially now of course to be fair I must tell you that the preceding examples were only estimates of course as I've said potential sales and revenue numbers that are for informational purposes only even though they were only hypothetical figures they are actually something much much more than that they reveal that is what is so very possible in terms of new sales and revenues generated online for you if and when you're ranking on the first page of Google um, in our example ranking first page on Google has potential annual revenue value of 3.9 million even losers are winners in our example ranking last or tenth on page one of Google still has the potential annual revenue of three hundred thousand dollars and that was only one keyword with some pretty easy assumptions just imagine what the potential value is for all of your keywords now let's make let's, let's take this thought process one step further what if you had multiple page one rankings like this example oh sorry about that this might be a little tough to see but uh, six out of the top eight page one Google rankings for one of the the most competitive keywords in a major city including spot one and two I mean <laughs> talk about total market domination there imagine if that was you with all six of those rankings on the first page of Google now again that's what I call total market domination and that's what you really want to do you want to dominate your market you don't want to just get one or two rankings here or there and you know get the crumbs as they as they're they're scraped off the side of the plate you want the whole pie and you should have the whole pie because your business deserves it so I ask you again can you afford not to rank on the first page of Google now the preceding calculations were based on certain assumptions and only an example of what is possible and not a guarantee of any kind like, like I've stated before however the important takeaway for you is to understand that if you're not ranking on Google you're not banking and that you and your business are potentially losing out on substantial revenues just waiting for you to grab after all someone will be generating the online traffic clicks leads phone calls emails sales and revenues from ranking on page one of Google for your keywords make that someone you and your business ASAP you don't want that to be your competitors otherwise your competition will have the upper hand and your business will suffer with the type of potential lost revenues you see are possible when you don't rank on page one of Google I have to ask you can you really afford not to rank on page one of Google you and I we both know the answer to that question don't we by this point so what should you do next here's the deal you have two choices it's the proverbial fork in the road you can do nothing and leave the fate of your business to chance or pick a day and time for us to speak you can schedule your free no obligation keyword evaluation and analysis now to find out the estimated value of your keywords if you are ranking on page one of Google instead of your competitors. Plus, I'll provide you with the game plan for your keywords to show up on page one of Google. What I'm looking for is a few more qualified clients. The type of clients that I work with are the businesses who want to generate more online traffic, phone calls, emails, leads that turn into qualified sales, increased profits, and larger revenues. Businesses who are ready to invest now, not tire kickers businesses who do not penny pinch or delay key decisions that are very important I'm sure it was as clear as I could be and did a good job of showcasing to you why you simply can't afford to not be on the first page of Google if you're not there just understand that your competitors are there so you need to pick a time and day for us to speak as soon as possible 
as I work on an exclusive basis and my time and client roster space are very limited. And once my roster fills up, it can be several months before another slot becomes available. I am available though to speak to you seven days a week, so go ahead and schedule your free no obligation keyword valuation analysis now before your competitors do. Or if you prefer to get started immediately and beat your competition, you may call me at 312-610-1813 or you can email me at adam at surgetick.com. Well, I want to thank you for taking valuable time out of your day to watch this presentation and just get a better understanding of the value of your keywords and why it is absolutely critical for your business today and beyond to be ranking on the first page of Google. I want you there and I know your competitors don't want you there but if you're not there again they are let's change that I look forward to speaking with you very soon if you're ready to speak to me about your keyword valuation analysis and game plan again I'm Adam Agley founder of search tick digital marketing and you can reach me at 312-610-1813 or you can find me via email at adam at searchtick.com so go ahead and schedule your appointment below now and take advantage while you can